Light painting is always a really fun way to spend an evening, but it can be quite dull using a torch. Um, so what we're going to do today is going to show you something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be using these sparklers and heading outside some long exposures. So follow along and we'll get started. Shooting with sparklers adds a celebratory touch to any shoot and a glittery quality to the light itself. As long as you're careful, it's also a fun technique to try out with a group of friends. To get started, you'll need sparklers and something to light them with. A DSLR and a standard kit lens should do the trick here. Because we're using longer shutter speeds and shooting in low light, a tripod is vital to avoid unwanted shake. We're using a remote control to fire the camera, but you could also use a cable release, self-timer mode, or just get a friend to press the shutter down for you. The sparklers we're using are labelled as suitable for indoor or outdoor use but it's best to work outside to avoid any fiery accidents. Set up in a garden or quiet street away from excitable pets or children. The key thing is to pick somewhere you'll have plenty of room to move the sparkler after firing the shutter. Start by mounting the camera on the tripod and set your camera to shutter priority mode. There's no ideal shutter speed to use as longer exposures will suit longer words or more elaborate drawings. We started with 10 seconds and then tweaked it from there. An ISO 400 was set initially to allow enough light to reach the sensor. The background will be dark, so it doesn't matter too much where you position the camera. Position the camera, then frame the scene so you're in the middle and there's enough room to outstretch your arm and draw on either side of you. Focus on where you're going to be standing, then switch to manual focus mode. Next, decide what you're going to write. Your imagination is the limit here. If you're particularly artistic, you might want to try elaborate illustrations, but it's best to start off with simple symbols or words. When you're ready to go, put on some gloves, light the sparkler and fire the shutter. Move it consistently across the frame as you write or draw. If you stop for too long, you'll get blown out areas that are brighter than the rest of the scene. Curly handwriting works well for words. Remember to write backwards so that the camera records words the right way round. If you can't get the hang of writing backwards, just write normally and flip your images using editing software later on. It's unlikely that your first shot will come out perfectly. If it's too bright, but the exposure is long enough, lower the ISO or dial in some negative exposure compensation. If you need more time to write out the scene, lengthen the shutter. Because it will be dark, it can take a few attempts to get to know how much of the scene is covered by your camera. If you find that you can't fit all of your light painting in the frame, move yourself back from the camera or zoom out if you're using a zoom lens. Getting the right result can take a bit of practice, but you'll soon get there. Although this is a fun technique, remember that sparklers can be dangerous. Always hold them at arm's length, away from anything flammable. Sparklers remain hot after use, so place them in a bucket of water when they've gone out. So there you have it. Playing around with sparklers doesn't have to be limited to bonfire night or birthday parties. Once you've got the composition and settings sorted, call in a few friends and really get the party started.